Well, it's a lovely afternoon in Corrigan Park in Belfast as Antrim and Galway bid to bounce back after defeats in the last round of the Leinster Championship. It is all of 81 years since Antrim last defeated Galway in Championship hurling. Antrim have made one change from the Dublin loss with Michael Bradley added to their attack for his first start of the year in place of Aon O'Brien. Galway welcome back Sean Lennan and David Burke in place of Garrod McInerney and Brian Concannon. Dahi Burke is named in the full back line. Galway playing into a slight breeze in the first half here in Belfast. But launching another attack, there's Ronan Glennon to his midfield partner, David Burke. Burke steadies down, shoots and scores. Galway lead 3-1. Antrim trying to put pressure on Galway. That's pouring Mannion. Mannion hits the ground. Jared Walsh there with him. Walsh eventually gets the ball into his hand. James McNaughton. McNaughton from a long way out. And that's a lovely score from James McNaughton after seven minutes. Now, Keenan Fahey. Fahey keeps that low to Connor Whelan. Whelan been marked by Paddy Burke. That's going to be a good battle between the two of them. Connor Whelan been put under pressure. Now it's Evan Nyland. There's a little bit of a gap. Nyland shoots off the left and Nyland scores. Henry happy enough of what he's seen so far. Keenan Fahey. Fahey. They've opened up some space in front of Connor Cooney. Cooney misplaced the pass. Sean Lennan. Now this is Gavin Lee. He's got in around the back, Gavin Lee, for Galway. Lee scores. The goal has come in the ninth minute. Nice bit of vision. And Gavin Lee, once he got there, he was never going to miss. Antrim, well, the work rate is back up again. It wasn't where it should have been, according to manager Darren Gleeson, against Dublin. Now, this is Keelan Malloy. Malloy from long range, and Malloy has scored his second point in the space of a minute. Antrim have scored the last three points in succession here in Belfast. This is James McNaughton. He started brightly. McNaughton scored a screamer earlier on, and that's four in a row for Antrim. Derek Fahey. Galway under pressure from their own puckouts in the first half. There's that Antrim work rate again. This is from a long way out. Michael Bradley brought back into the team today, and Bradley brings the team's level. So how will Galway respond to the shock of being pulled back level? Antrim on the attack again. Now, there's a big gap in around behind the Galway full back line. This is Conal Bohill, moved into the forwards for the first time, and Bohill scores. Antrim hit the front at Corrigan Park, and this has been an inspired move by Darren Gleeson. Bohill doing really well in the forwards. Galway trailing by two points. Five minutes to go to half time. Connor Cooney, all very tight there. Cooney improvised. Here's Gavin Lee, got a goal from this very position, but he's forced a little bit wide. Evan Nyland, brilliant flick, goal scoring chance. Ryan Elliott with the save for Antrim. So here's Nyland back to Joseph Cooney and Connor Whelan, who could so easily have had a goal, sized up the options but decides to take the point. They get something out of the attack. Wonderful goalkeeping from Ryan Elliott. Whelan thought he was in. David Burke with the relieving clearance for Galway. It's launched in long towards Connor Whelan. And what's happened there? Connor Whelan has taken the helmet off. And he has been hurt. Connor Whelan. The referee wants to have a word with Ryan McGarry. And it's a straight red card for the Antrim centre back. What did the referee Michael Kennedy see here? Well, Ryan McGarry did catch him in the face mask and Antrim are down to 14, just three minutes into the second half. David Burke pulling that back. Here's Sean Lennan inside the 45 metre line. Lennan gives Galway the lead for the first time since the 22nd minute. We're five minutes into the second half. So Henry Shefflin making some alterations with the extra man. Now Antrim under pressure. And here is Connor Cooney. Cooney goes down the challenge from Jared Walsh. The referee's given a penalty. It's a penalty. Will it be a black card, though? Well, what exactly happened to Connor Cooney as he burst through here? The referee's going to have a chat with the umpires to check on the black card. 
There is no black card, it's just a penalty. That was the foul on Conor Cooney. He was pulled back. So Conor Cooney's going to take the penalty himself. We are nine minutes into the second half in Belfast. And Cooney scores the goal. Ryan Elliott had no chance with that. And Galway have taken over. 2.13 to 11. Antrim under all sorts of pressure. They really haven't been able to get going in this third quarter. Here's an opportunity now. Michael Bradley pops the ball forward to Sean Elliott. Couldn't bring it under control. James McNaughton did some good stuff in the first half. Was going for goal there. That's their first point in the second half. They've had to wait 18 minutes for it. Lad Scott, lad Boyney. So Galway just moving through the gears. They really have turned things around since the red card for Ryan McGarry. Connor Whelan, the captain, just floating that in, and it's a lovely score from Connor Whelan. 15 minutes to go. That's Connor Boyd with the sideline cut. Donal O'Shea. And O'Shea has made a big impression since coming on for Galway, and that's a really good score. And Ryan Elliott with the last puck out of the game. The match turned on the red card early in the second half. Galway back in the groove. Antrim, it all comes down to their last game against Carlo. No matter what way the result goes tomorrow, we have to win here next weekend. And uh, that's what we'll focus on for the week. Just get a few injuries, um, tidy it up and see what happens.